Are you new to Live 2D and looking to create your very first model? Or perhaps you've already started creating and looking to hone your skills? Let me introduce you to this video series, Live 2D Beginner vs Pro. I'm also including a free example model so you can learn practically alongside these videos. You can grab it right now using the link in the description below. So what can you expect from this series? I'll be teaching you how to rig a VTuber model from start to finish, but through the lens of either a complete beginner or as a professional rigger. I recommend watching both regardless of your current skill level. You may pick up some unexpected tips after all. In the beginner series, I'll be walking you through the basics of rigging our model. From head and body movements to hair and clothing physics, starting with an introduction to navigating Live 2D and getting started later in this video. In the Pro series, I'll be demonstrating techniques to improve your models, such as augmented physics and achieving greater depth for that 3D-like look, and expanding on more advanced tools in Live 2D. First things first, we need to import our Photoshop document into Live 2D. We can do this by either dragging and dropping the file into the program, or by selecting it through File, then Open. You should then see our model appear. Allow me to explain all of these different menus before we continue. First, we have the Part and Project menu. Here we can see all of our art layers as well as our original PSD. If you import other or updated documents to your model, they will show up here. Next up is the Deformer menu. Much like the parts menu, you'll be able to see all of our art layers here. However, we will also be able to see any deformers we create here. I'll be introducing deformers in the first beginner episode. Up here, we have the tool details menu. You won't see anything here until we start using certain tools, such as the brush selection or deform edit tools. So don't worry about this for now. Below this, we have the inspector menu. Much like the tool details menu, you won't see anything here at first, but if we select a part, for example, you'll see all sorts of information pop up. I'll be explaining more about what things do in this menu through the series. Finally, we have a parameter menu. This is where we set up our movement. You'll notice that there are already parameters that Live2D conveniently created for us. I'll be explaining more about what these parameters are and what we use them for in the next episode. Before we jump into rigging, we need to do some initial setup on our model here. You may notice that some of our parts are sticking out. Just look at our tongue and teeth poking out under our mouth. Life 2D doesn't copy over what we call clipping layers from our PSD, so we'll need to set them up manually. A clipping layer allows us to take one part, such as our tongue here, and clip it to another layer, just like this. So that way, when we move this tongue part, you'll see that it won't show beyond our mouth layer. How do we clip layers together? First, we need to select the layer we want the parts to clip to. In this case, our inner mouth. Take a look at the inspector menu and look at this ID field. We're gonna copy the ID of this part by using Control C. Next, we're going to select the parts we want to clip. In this case, we have three teeth parts and the tongue part to clip. We can select all of these by holding Control and left clicking on each of them. Take a look at our inspector menu again and look for the clipping ID. We simply need to paste the inner mouth ID here using Control V and then press enter. And magically, our parts are now clipped. Alternatively to copying and pasting the ID, we can use this button to the right of the clipping ID. This will open up a menu showing all of our layers. All we need to do is tick the layer or the layers we want to clip this part to. Let's go ahead and clip our shading layers. Next up, we need to set up our draw order. What is draw order? It's basically the order our layers are set from back to front. 
A low draw order number means that a part will display beneath other layers, whilst a high number means a part will display above the other layers. Live2D will default all layers to a default order of 500, which you can see in the part menu. Why is draw order important? If we make sure to set up our draw order before we start rigging the model, we'll be able to change the order of our layers later on if needed. Sometimes we can get away with not changing the draw order at all. I'll be covering a technique for this in the Pro series. But I recommend setting up the draw order during this initial step regardless, in case we need to use it later. The part menu here will have all of our model layers in the order they were drawn in the PSD. So basically, we should be setting low numbers at the bottom of this menu, and high numbers at the top. If we select the part at the very bottom here, back here main, and look over at the inspector menu, we should see a draw order field. Let's select this number and replace it with a new number. I'm going to set it to 5. This is down to preference. I usually set my layers to a multiple of 5. So for our next layer here, I'm going to set this to 10. So on and so forth. Let's go ahead and set all of our layers draw order. Last part of our setup, let's take a look back at our parameter menu. I find it super important to keep this menu neat and organized when you're rigging a model. Here's what we can do. If we click this button on the bottom right, it will create a new folder here. We can rename this to whatever we like, and as you hone your skills as a rigger, you might find ways to organize that better suits you. For now, we're just going to use some basic folders to sort our parameters here. Let's name this first folder Head Angles. Next, we're going to drag and drop our Angle X, Angle Y, and Angle Z parameters to our Head Angles folder. Now, we can minimize this folder when we're not working on it, and it makes it much easier to navigate later on. Let's go ahead and create some more folders. We're going to name these Eyes, Brows, Mouth, and Body Angles. You can select multiple parameters by holding CTRL and left clicking and dragging them into the corresponding folder. We will be creating more folders later as we rig the model, so don't worry about any loose parameters. If you're more of a visual person like me, you might also want to colour code your folders too. All we need to do is right click our folder, label colour, and select the colour you'd like for that folder. Now our model is all set up and ready to rig. And don't forget to save your progress! Let's quickly go over what we learnt in this episode. We looked at the basics in navigating Live2D's menus. It's good to start getting used to where things are before you jump into the model rigging process. You also know how to set up your model from step 0, how to clip layers to each other, assigning draw order to our layers, and keeping ourselves organised in the parameter menu. The next episode will cover the beginning side of rigging the face. I'll be introducing you to the basic tools, including those deformers I mentioned earlier, to create your first blinking eyes and mouth movements for lip sync. Stay tuned for the next episode! Thank you to my Ko-Fi members for supporting the channel, especially our super shiny treasures, Toxan. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Ko-Fi link in the description below. Take care and have fun in Live2D!